Hey guys, uh, thank you for visiting 302 Sobriety. Today, we're going to be talking about gratitude. Uh, I'm still strong and sober. It's, uh, it's beautiful. I'm grateful for everything that's happened to me, even the bad stuff, because I learned from it. It's, uh, been a hard process. Uh, I'm still dealing with issues health-wise and lost a lot of weight. I weigh about 183 pounds and I used to weigh 415. Uh, but that's what life hands you and you deal with it. And that's what I'm doing is dealing with it. Uh, and also for the DUI that I got into in 2015 of October 31st, I'm still paying for those errors. Uh, I moved. I'm no longer in New York or Delaware. I'm now in Texas. And... Uh, that's why I, I wasn't posting a lot, but it, it was a good move for me. I get to do what I need to do. Uh, I'm taking care of my responsibilities, something I never did. It was always, uh, you know, when the next drink is coming, when the next high is coming. Didn't take care of my bills and everything, and I've slowly straightened things out. Uh, my last step is, uh, again, I have uh, the breathalyzer, and I didn't know by switching from a different state to this state, I thought I could do the breathalyzer uh, and carry it over to Texas because it's over. For me, that part, and then I'll be free and clear of everything that I've done. So if you think things don't happen, to you, you know, I don't wish it on anyone, but it's hard. And if you don't have a strong mind and you want to survive, it's not how you fall down, it's how you get up. Uh, for myself, uh, by switching the state, the state I was able to register my car. Once I registered my car, I was in non-compliance in Delaware because they don't transfer the breathalyzer to another state. So I don't get to drive my car until April 23rd, 2022. Uh, so I leave my car parked here and uh, my van Maria, my baby girl, and all I've been doing is painting and, you know, I'm a fighter. When I first started this journey, I was on bicycle, in the snow, in the rain, going to work, uh, getting buses, walking. You know, you, I did what I was doing for the alcohol and the drugs. I was up, nothing ever stopped me. And this is not gonna stop me. So, uh, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that I'm able to learn what life has to offer and to handle my emotions. One of my biggest things were handling my emotions. I wasn't used to it. I don't want to face up. I don't like confrontation. I'm a people pleaser. And slowly but surely I changed. Now it's like, fuck it. You know, I got to take care of myself. I got to, if you're bringing down my vibe, you're out of here. It's as simple as that. Uh, if you're going to criticize, no one can hurt me more than I hurt myself throughout this process. So I pay the price. I'm going to do what I have to do, and I will continue until I drop dead because it's better for me the way I'm living than the way I was living. 
didn't know what I was going to do, didn't know where I was going to get money, didn't uh, want to just get high, have fun and everything. But now, you know, I've calmed down. Uh, this September, I'm being in the mid-60s, so, uh, you know, I let my beard grow since the pandemic, and I'm going to, I let my hair grow, you see, but uh, when all this is over, I might decide to change my appearance again. But for now, uh, I'm doing fine, going to my doctors, uh, taking my meds the way I'm supposed to, uh, not drinking, uh, socializing with positive people. I still go to AA here in Texas uh, and do my thing. You know, uh, I come first. If I put sobriety second, uh, I'm in trouble. So sobriety comes first for me. I, it's always in the forefront of my mind that I have to do what I have to do to be good. Uh, because if it doesn't, fear comes into play, my ego comes into play, I got a big ego, and I have to like, whoa, slow it up, you know, and figure out, is it the ego, you know, if I'm letting people push my buttons, uh, but I wasn't able to do that. I do that now. That's why I'm grateful. I'm grateful for taking a brush, a spray paint can, and doing what I want to do, something that I like to do, uh, taking care of myself. I want to live longer. Who would have thought, you know? When I was drinking, I was, I was in a slow suicide mode, trying to kill myself. And I didn't realize it. I just thought it was like part of life. You know, cultures, you know, you drink when you're young uh, and people take it to the next level and they get caught up in that vicious cycle. But uh, I grew up, I'm no longer a little kid. I gotta do what I have to do for myself. And this is my journey. And hopefully with what I do, helps you guys because uh, I know what you're going through. I've already gone through it and I'm still going to go through it, but I'm not going to give up. You know, you could bring up my past. I really don't care. I've already accepted my past. I forgave myself for who I was. And the key word is was, who I was. I am not that person. But if I come off strong to people because I want to back you off because you're hurting my vibe, my personal space, that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to take care of myself. I try to surround myself with positive people that are going to feed positivity to me. And uh, that's the key thing. You know, all the people, you know, when I was out there uh, running, I haven't heard from any of them. And I'm talking about the hardcore people that I used to run with. Uh, I have friends that I still keep in touch with from my past, and they care. They care about me, we care about each other. Uh, I realize that we're all getting older and we all go through things and we handle it. We handle it as best as possible. But when it starts hurting you, and it's overbearing and you it controls your life, you need to step back and say, hey, you know something? I'm going back to my old ways. I can't do that. Push them away. It's okay to disconnect with people. It's okay to say no. No is a sentence. Yes is a sentence and maybe is I'll get back to you. You know, you give me an answer. I'd rather hear no, I can't do it. No, I don't want to do it. That's fine. I'll figure out another way to do it. But that doesn't mean you're my enemy. That doesn't mean I don't like you. That means you gave me an answer. And then my ego plays a part because I start saying to myself, uh, he didn't do what I wanted you to do. Everything was about me, me, me. No, you know something? It's about you. It's about other people. It's about how people react to other people. Accept people who they are. You have prejudice 
all over any place that you go. Acknowledge it. You don't have to participate in it, but you know where they're coming from. So you put them at arm's length. You know, the, someone told me a long time ago, keep your enemies closer, because then you know when they're coming. And if somebody treats their friends great, and then they treat you nasty, you know they're gonna be nasty people who are gonna treat you bad. So, you know, they don't respect your space, they don't respect your answers, they don't, they disregard everything, everything is about them, them, them. And it reminds me, when I start getting angry at somebody, it's a reflection of me. It was a reflection of who I was, and then I have to pause. And then I have to say, hey, why am I getting so angry? I'm not the one doing it. I'm letting him push the buttons of my ego. So I hope this works. Take care of your business. Take care of your family. I know your family loves you. I know that uh, it's hard because you're not ready. And you, you're not ready to do something for yourself, but you need to, to survive. Life is not all about alcohol and drugs. You don't have to drink to party. You can have a really good time. I have a good time. I could go out. You know, I'm strong enough for that. I've got a couple of years under my belt and I've had a lot more. So I have the tools to use. Problem is that if I don't use those tools, I'll fall back and I'll start right where I left off. And I can't afford that. So keep that in mind be grateful for what you have be grateful for the things you can do be grateful for the rain for the snow for you learn from negative people you learn from positive people and you learn about yourself so guys stay strong and sober one day at a time see you later